Hello, uh, welcome back to part five or six, depending on uh, how I end up editing the stuff. Anyways, today we're gonna try and get the forks done. So that's gonna be new fork seals, bushings, and fluids. And then I'm gonna take the shock into the shop and let them do that. And then from there, we're gonna do new handlebars because these bars are actually bent, believe it or not. Um, new foot pegs, these foot pegs are just torn apart. Um, yeah, so with that said, we're gonna go ahead and start with the forks. We're gonna pull them off and get them disassembled and then go from there. So stick around. So, um, forks are done. They're actually super simple. These things were pretty nasty, actually. They're, uh, they need to be replaced. Um, but yeah, super simple, actually. These older forks are so much easier than, than the new um, Triple S forks or the new Yamaha forks. But uh, yeah, now we're gonna go ahead and throw the forks back on the bike. And then um, I got some new brake pads because the old ones got saturated in oil. Therefore, they did not work very well. And uh, yeah, then we will go ahead and move on to the next part, which will be the bars. We're gonna get handlebars all swapped out um, and then foot pegs. So that's what's next, stay tuned.
All right, so forks are done, pegs are done, and bars are done. Um, I went with a stock YZ bend. That's my favorite bend of bar. These are CR low, and I'm just not a fan of them. Plus, they're bent. Um, it also had these risers, which also not a fan of. And the old foot pegs were all smashed up. So, anyways, yeah, that's uh, all I have time for for today. Um, hopefully, in the next video, I will get the tires and the plastics and everything done, and it will be ready to absolutely rip. But until then, this is where we're at, and uh, I'm tired. This is all I have time for. Like I said, and uh, yeah, stay tuned because uh, things are going to start getting good now.